Hello everybody and welcome to my messy room. You can see my closets open there. You guys, I know I've been talking about trying to be a better human, just in general. I am so naturally messy and I know that you guys probably don't believe that. I actually posted recently on my Instagram some like real life footage of what our house looks like. It does not look how it always looks on here but I'm trying to be better. And one of those habits that I'm trying to build is making my bed. So I'm gonna do that here really quick before we get started into a clothing thrift haul video. I haven't done one of these in so long and I know that some of you guys ask for it. I wanna go to the thrift store and I wanna find some fun new stuff for spring. I feel like I have really scaled back on my clothing. I'm trying to be intentional about the pieces that I have. And I, honestly, I don't really go into the clothing racks that much. I just love home decor. With that, I'm gonna be switching out my clothes here soon for spring. So I'm probably gonna be kind of editing back some of my pieces, but I just am excited to bring in some new stuff too. So I'm gonna get started on my bed, but I'll kind of keep talking with you. But a funny thing about us is that Josh works with so many young people. And so we work with a lot of teens and young adults and stuff and with that i want to be cool you guys so <laughs> it's not that i necessarily want to look like a 20 year old or anything like that but y'all i don't want to look like i don't know what's going on this is kind of my typical outfit a white tee and jeans with like something over it and you know i know i don't necessarily look that cool to the kids these days even though i feel pretty cool and so i want to be able to find some cute pieces that can help me kind of fit in without looking like i'm trying too hard you know what i mean okay so anyway i'm trying to create some of these healthy practices and literally everybody says you should make your bed every morning and you guys i feel like there are people who make their beds and then I feel like there are people who do not make their beds. <laughs> Let me know which one you are in the comments over here. I am a person, and so is Josh, that do not make our bed. And we're really trying hard to change that because I really feel like it sets the tone for our day. I told you guys that I'm trying to implement the Fly Lady cleaning system. Y'all, I failed. I failed so many times. I was gonna make a video about it, but I don't even have the authority in all of my failures to make a video about it. So maybe once I start to get it under control, I can actually make something for you guys. But until that time, I will just be trying to nail down these habits. So here's my thrifted linen quilt that I had. And you guys, we are still loving our Brooklinen sheets on these nice feather pillows that they gave us. And I know I've talked to you guys about them before, but we use these Marlowe pillows. I showed y'all these once in the past, but they're so awesome. For those of you who are unfamiliar, this is what the pillow looks like. We have this cooling cover, not necessarily because I need it, but because Josh likes it because hot, it gets hot. And then this is how the zippers work. We've got ours nice and plush, but if you like it, you can zip it up on one side or even both sides for more firmness. So they're actually having a surprise sale in honor of Sleep Week 2023. If you guys don't know what that is, because I didn't, it's an annual event that celebrates sleep health. We've been using these for, gosh, I don't know, probably six months now, and I love them. I actually sleep with both of ours because I like them so much. If you're interested, you can save 30% off because of Marlowe's Sleep Week celebration, but then on top of that, you can have an additional 20% off if you use my code. So there's no better time to step up your comfort than right now. Anyway, we have loved working with Marlo and we've loved working with Brooklyn and too. Their sheets are like the softest thing in the world. I'm not even kidding y'all. So if you have the opportunity, take advantage of these links that I'm giving you guys because they got some good stuff. Okay, so I'm just finishing up here and then we can go to the thrift store. I'm gonna take you with me to the thrift store and afterwards we can go over in the hall and I'll even try on this stuff for you guys, which I, I always get a little bit nervous trying on clothes for people. I just, I wanna show you this cute clothes, okay? So let's get moving. I'm gonna go ahead and get us started in the thrift stores before we head on over to the Goodwill outlet. Here I found so many cute pieces. I didn't take the camera in with me to the dressing room, but I actually tried on a lot of these and I will show you which ones I wound up picking up when we get to the haul. But there were so many cute things this day. Mm -hmm. 
I am obsessed with these Vans. This is like my dream pair of Vans. And of course they were one half size too small. <laughs> I was really impressed with the bins on this day. There was a lot of cute stuff. You guys, I don't have room for everything, so I did have to get kind of picky on what I chose, but this shirt I wound up picking up and I never showed you guys in the haul. There's a couple items like that, but y'all, sometimes when you bring things home, you just start putting them away and you forget. I also picked up this beautiful skirt. I loved it. It was a size small. It is amazing and I got it home and for some reason it's really large. I did like this California sweatshirt, but at this point in order to have another sweatshirt in my collection, it has to be really special. These shorts were so cute, but honestly they would look tiny and I didn't think that they'd be able to fit me. These, I liked the material, but they looked kind of low rise and y'all know I'm not going for low rise. They had an amazing collection of Boy Scouts uniforms with all of these patches. It made me so sad to see these in the bins, but I mean, what am I gonna do with all these, you know? Okay, y'all, had some luck. Let me show you what I was able to find. Ooh. Okay, is this lighting bad? <sighs> This is a weird angle. <laughs> I might have to change this up. Ugh. Okay, we might need to just come back to where we started over here. Okay, so let me show you guys what I was able to find. Okay, first, this is new too, but this is not thrifted. I found this on Amazon. I was just looking for a regular, just like loose V-neck t-shirt. And I love it. I'll link it below if you guys want to know where I got it from. Okay, so some of these items I found at the regular thrift store and some of these I found at Goodwill Outlet. And I will do my best to let you know. I know that many of you guys already know this, but our Goodwill Outlet is $1.27 per pound. I don't know how much these weigh. I don't have a scale that I carry around with me, but just kind of think of what it might be in your mind. First, I'm going to start with a pair of leather shoes that I found. You guys, I'm really trying to scale it down on shoes because honestly, we've got a great closet, Josh and I, here it is, but I still don't have that much room. And y'all, oh my gosh, should I tell you? Josh has, he's got so many Nikes for sale right now. It's like ridiculous. And like our whole closet is full of the Nikes that he's selling. It's a whole thing. If you know about it, you know about it. And I don't know about it, so don't ask me. <laughs> anyway. I'm sure Josh hates these, but I found these cool leather shoes. They're by a brand called Naturalizer. They look like some nice driving loafers. I just thought that they were so cute. I've got a pair of driving loafers right now that I like, but y'all, they're like half a size too small. And sometimes I do this where I buy things and I'm like, no, I could stretch them, I can make them work and I'll still wear them. Honestly, these seem like a better quality than the ones I have and they actually fit my giant feet. Okay, my feet aren't that giant. They started out as eight and a half, but as I've like progressed with my pregnancies, I'm now like a solid nine, nine and a half. All right, next I found, this is like my most valuable thing, believe it or not, that I have found. It's actually this t-shirt. So I saw this and I was immediately attracted to this little emblem on it. I don't, again, you guys, I don't know the names or anything. This little graphic that was on the front and I thought it was cool. I looked at the back and I was like, I mean, it's all right. Have guitar, can't travel, 91, 97 Fairfield, Connecticut. But when I saw it, I saw that it said Jay Mayer. And I was like, Jay Mayer, is that like John Mayer? And so I looked it up and you guys, so I looked this up and I actually could not find this actual t-shirt online, but I found the long sleeve version on like eBay. And there's a few different options you can find for the long sleeve ones. And these are selling for $200. Like what? If you see me walking around like this, you can just say, Kristen, you look extra expensive today. Speaking of expensive, I found at the Goodwill, this was $3.99. I did find this pretty linen top. I just thought it was so cute. It's got that tie on the bottom that I'm not always crazy about. But like I said, I just tuck it in and nobody even knows. 
but you guys know how I love a solid linen top. This is like looking see-through right now. I promise it's not see-through when I wear it. It's crazy to say this because I felt like I had everything in linen, but I actually don't have anything that's like this. And so I'm really excited to have this in my closet. Okay, so the only thing that I'm a little bit hesitant with this one is the buttons, you guys. I think I may have to wear like something underneath to kind of give it a little bit of protection. That or like, you know what? Maybe I can just sew this shut, you know? Like, it's not like I'm gonna be unbuttoning it for any reason. I can just take it over my head. I just love the way it fits. This one may be even more me than me, let's be honest. Love it, love it, it's perfection. Okay, this one I found from the outlet. Y'all don't judge me. This is more of like an at-home shirt, if you know what I mean. I may not even try it on, but it's pretty small. And you know, when you got a husband and you're just at home, you know, you wear what you wanna wear, okay? The girls know that I only wear <laughs> that stuff inside the house, not outside the house. I found this pair of jeans also at the Goodwill outlet. They're BDG, which I think that that is buckle jeans, right? But I thought that these were so cool. Again, so these were at the outlet. They were priced $1.27 per pound. And I think that the name of the jeans is called just the mom high rise, which you know, you guys, I'm a mom and I love high rise jeans. So let's go. They are a size 26. So they may fit me. They may not fit me. Honestly, I have not tried them on yet. Let me go ahead and try them on for you and see how they go. They are probably a little bit tighter than what the kind of like current fashion is. I don't think they're bad. They don't feel like the wrong size, but they're just not as loose as I'm used to. But it's kind of cool. They're a little bit distressed in some places and you know, I think I'll keep them. You guys, you know that I love these Universal Thread t-shirts. I will say they're not the greatest quality. I feel like I kind of go through them every year, but I did not have one in this color. And you guys are probably so sick of seeing me in this like taupey, grayy color that I'm always wearing. I tried it on, it was $2.99. And so I was like, you know what? I know that I've got other stuff that's like this, but this color is my jam. So we're just gonna go ahead and we're just gonna buy another one. So I'll try this one on for you too. Y'all, this is what I'm talking about. This is my go-to look. Just ask Josh. This is my daily uniform that I wear all the time. This color is perfection. I'm just me. Next at the Goodwill outlet, I found this little tank top for $2.99, but it's new with tags. And so you can see that it went down to $3.97 on the clearance at Old Navy, but it started at 25 bucks. So I'll just you know, I'll claim that $25 number, not the $3.97 or the $2.99. Anyway, but I thought it was cute. I love gingham. I think that with the whole like cottage style, farmhouse style, like the home that we have, it just seems very fitting. And so I was really excited to find this one. Here's this one. I don't know. I just have mixed feelings, mostly because of, look, these. <laughs> it's an extra small. I probably should have known. You guys, I'm not saying that I'm fat. I'm just saying that I'm in my mid thirties and y'all the skin, it just ain't like it used to be. <laughs> I can still move, right? There's something I love about a little Henley. I will say that I don't know what happened, but I can't find any of my tank tops. This one is a size extra large. I bought it anyway because I just needed a tank top to go underneath some stuff. And I kind of like that Henley style. It reminds me of Tarzan and Jane in that Disney movie, how she would always wear a tank top with like a little Henley button down front. Is that what you call that? Anyway, I always thought that Jane looked so cute in that tank top and dang it, I just want to look like Jane. It's me, Jane, in the jungle, wearing the shirt that I think is a little bit too big. <laughs> Y'all, I don't think it's gonna work for me. I don't think it's gonna work. I don't know. I think it just might be too big. Darn it, why did I buy this? <laughs> okay, this might have been my favorite find of all of my finds on this thrift haul, and you're gonna laugh at me for it. But look at this. Look at that sick Iowa shirt. You guys know that Iowa, it holds a place in my heart. My whole family is from here. I just love it. I, you guys also know my obsession with pheasants. This looks like it's happening about this time of year, even though I think all of our snow is melted at this point. This is also $2.99. I just found this and I was like, yes, all things yes. This is just totally my jam. So I cannot wait to wear this. Maybe in my next video, who knows? <laughs> 
also at the bins, I found some shorts and stuff. Okay, so these are also new with tags. These were originally $19.99, again at the bins. I don't know what they weigh, a pound, half a pound. But yeah, I found these little universal thread pants. They feel like they're linen, but they might be cotton. Let me go ahead and take a look. Okay, so this is 55% linen and 45% rayon, which I'm not a huge rayon person, but y'all, mama needs some shorts. And I love that these are not like a true black. They're more of like a charcoal gray. You guys know how I feel about black. I just feel like I look terrible in it. And so even though they're a size large, I'll try them on and see how they feel. If they're too big, then whatever. I spent like zero dollars on them basically. Okay, putting these on, I can already tell they're gonna be way too big. I don't know if I could necessarily cinch these. No, this just looks ridiculous. Look how much gathering there is right there. That's not gonna work, right? I don't know. Can I make it work? I don't know. I don't wanna just waste these. They're kind of cute. Never mind. let's just keep them. I also found these at the Goodwill. These, I don't know why they don't have a tag on them, but I found them for $1.99 and these are from Old Navy. These were also new with tags, but I wore them, so I took it off. These are also 55% linen and 45% rayon. You guys, I'm always looking for some cute little like comfy shorty shorts. I didn't mention this before, but these are actually like a children's size 14, 16, and I cannot even get this tie tied. It's so tight, but the actual shorts themselves are not tight. Do I look like a cute 14 year old? You guys don't even want to see the 14 year old Kristen. Or do you? <laughs> I'm not a huge like yoga pants girl. I don't know. Okay, first of all, I hate things that like press down on my leg hair as it grows. <laughs> I know some of you guys are like, just shave your legs, <laughs> but no. <laughs> but really, I do it like once a week. And if I'm on day six, like mama ain't wearing no yoga pants. <laughs> anyway, shorts are different, I know. But there's also like health reasons why you're not supposed to wear stuff that's like necessarily super constricting on your nether regions. It's not that I don't ever wear those things it's just that if I have the choice I try to choose the healthy option which is wearing breathable linens and not just like I don't what a spandex is that what everything from lululemon is made out of oh my gosh I got lululemon pants I forgot to show you guys I never showed these to you guys okay so also springtime spring springing the person who just like denounced yoga pants found some Lululemon yoga pants. It was at the Goodwill. I didn't even know that they were Lululemon because I'm so used to it being on the back, but I guess that they changed the location of their logo. I found these for $3.99. Look at them. They are exactly my size. Actually, I think they're a size too big, but it doesn't matter. It's yoga pants. Oh yeah, they, they cut out the tag. So I don't know if the people just didn't know what they were when they got them, but they're my favorite color, green. You guys, you know that green is my favorite. It. They just, they fit absolutely perfectly. So I will show you these on and don't judge me for just saying that I don't wear them because I will wear them every once in a while. The husband doesn't hate them. Let me say that. Okay, so here are these yoga pants. I'm not always a huge proponent of yoga pants, but these just fit me so nicely. I love the color and you guys are seeing that I'm pairing this with a shirt that I didn't think I was going to show you, but because these are so high waisted, it's not like showing too much skin or anything. Y'all can tell Josh probably wouldn't hate if I wore this around the house, you know, so. This next little top, I also found this at the Goodwill bins. Keep in mind that I actually have not tried these on yet. I've washed them. I just thought it was cute. It's kind of festive for like springtime, summertime. I like the little feminine sleeves. It keeps wanting to fall off of my shoulders. Ah, but if it's on my shoulders, I like it. Maybe if I had my mom like, Make it a little bit shorter. We can make it work. Cause it'd be cute if it was like an off the shoulder. No, it's not gonna, this ain't gonna happen. This ain't gonna happen. I actually found these when Josh and I were at the thrift store. It's another pair of little shorty shorts. I just thought they were cute. Again, like I said, I'm kind of looking for this style. I feel like all the ones that I had, you guys, I keep clothes for forever. I've had like low rise shorts in my drawers for like the longest time. And I'm like, you guys, I need to get some like high rise stuff. And these actually are not made of rayon. These are just made of 55% linen and 45% cotton. So these are actually the winners of all of the shorts in case you knew that we were in a race. This this is what I'm talking about. This is what I want right here. When I envision myself as a mom, this is how I see myself. Just looking into the future. 
And also at the Goodwill, I found these two last skirts. I thought that they were so pretty. These were $3.99, so not like the cheapest things. But you guys, let's go. This is like total little house on the prairie. I'm feeling like Ma Ingalls over here. That's my goal. Ma Ingalls or like Marmy from <laughs> Little Women. That's my like design aesthetic that I'm going for over here. So I found this one, which I thought was really pretty. And then I found the next one. I'll show you that one too. Okay, so this one is nice and comfortable in the midsection. I love where it hits me on my shins. I do not like when skirts land like just right at your knees. So I love it when they're long like this and yeah. I think it's cute. And then I found this one. I'm not really sure what these are made out of. I'm sure it's nothing that I wanna look at. I honestly, I think that this one's vintage. The way that the tag looks and everything, it's looking pretty vintage. So that tells me that it's probably something terrible, but that's okay, you know, balance. It's cute, right? Not too bad. It's a little tight around the midsection, but you know, it's motivation. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, and I forgot to tell you that I always wear this leather belt with this brass buckle. It's like my go-to favorite belt that I wear like every day. Recently, just in the last like two weeks, I found two more. I found this guy. It just says genuine leather made in Guatemala. I don't know if I see any brand on it, but this guy was $2.99 at the thrift store. And then I was at the little kids like dollar thrift store that I always go to where I get all of their clothes for a dollar. And I found this. And so this one was also just $1. And so I'm excited. I don't know what I'm gonna do with three belts, but maybe I can just wear them all at once. There we go. This is a good look, right? <laughs> I will say that this bottom one is a medium. And so it's a little bit larger on me, but I can just like poke a hole in it, right? That's the, that's the thing that people do. So that's what I have for my spring clothing thrift haul you guys i haven't done this in so long so for those of you who join me on this i know that i usually do home decor but thank you for humoring me and like not laughing as i try on clothes <laughs> or maybe you were laughing i can't see you or hear you so i i would have no idea i hope that it's getting warm where you are like i said the snow has officially melted here and i'm so excited to just get outside it's been beautiful the last few days i don't know if i'm quite ready to wear this stuff but i'm excited to integrate this as I switch out my clothing here in the next month or so. If you guys are not already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like I told you guys, it really helps me when you do that or when you comment. I love hearing from y'all. I truly try to either like or respond to everything that I receive. Let me know what you like. Let me know what your favorite piece was. Let me know if you would not have picked something up. And also, if you guys are interested, if you're interested, I've got an Instagram account. I'll put it right here under my hand. But if you guys want, go follow me over there. Say hi, say hello, you know, watch one of my stories. I've got lots of memes mostly over there. And like, you know, pictures of kids and stuff, if that's something that interests you. I know you guys love my kids, which makes me so happy. I guess I can take this hand away and say thank you. I appreciate your time. Thank you for stopping by and we'll see you next time. Bye.